Okay, good morning. Uh, it's 5.47 a.m. Sunday morning. Uh, game's gonna start in about 20 minutes-ish. So looking forward to it. Um, just got the news that Charlie Kerno is not gonna be playing. He's pulled up sore with his knee, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, it's another week now. We've kind of got to wait, see what's happening with him. But it's most importantly, it's a week that we don't get to see this new forward line of ours function. So, you know, mixed emotions there. Charlie hasn't really had a good run at it so far this season. It seems like it's his turn to, to go through a little bit of the, um, you know, the adversity that comes with, you know, growing into a, a, a footy player, let alone a, a superstar footy player. Um, hopefully he's okay. Um, you know, we really need him to be in the side for us to have confidence going into games. And that's probably the mindset shift now for me you know Levi comes in Levi's a bit more of a a role player a squad player now um, you know for him it's more or less about playing his role very much like he did a few weeks ago uh, I think it was the Port Adelaide game so up the ground marking the ball well etc um, so yeah like, I'm a little bit flat to be honest because you know without Charlie in the side it doesn't give me as much of a, a confidence boost knowing the potential scoring threat that we have. But hey, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a test for the system. Uh, we haven't really got a good, reliable system yet, but today is a good test to see, okay, this is how our forward setup is gonna be. We lose one of our key players in that forward system. One comes in, can that system still work? So well, I'm not confident that we're gonna win today. Um, it's not as much of a build up emotionally for me as what it was last week. I think last week was a bit more of a, more of a test to see, you know, where is the rebuild at and, and where do we stack up? Whereas this week, you know, the doggies are, you know, solid side and so they'll trouble us. Um, you know, obviously always going confident and hopeful, but again, yeah, not putting as much emotion into, into this game as what I did last week. So we'll see how we go. Fingers crossed, uh, you know, our midfielders can, can have that composure today. And, uh, you know, I know that they're still young and they're still going through their own, their own process um, but hopefully we can play a lot better than what we did last week and hopefully the the burn from last week is sort of still ringing in the players heads and they really uh, give it a crack today so looking forward to it and as always go the Blues. All right end of the first quarter and it's five goals three three goals three up by two goals um, can't complain with that got the response that we wanted from last week uh, came out really strongly Lowered our eyes, a lot of uh, play moving forward there looked good. Um, explosive quarters from guys like Samo, 13 touches, Harry, 7 and 2 goals, Cripps had 13, Murphy's had 9 and a goal. Um, yeah, just a little bit relief to be honest. Uh, obviously, a few things to think about. Probably should be up a little bit more. Uh, squandered a few chances early in that quarter and even when the doggies got their goals, they just sort of got it from quick ball movement. So that's a little bit dangerous for us and we've really got to be careful of that because uh, there's no doubt they'll, be, uh, they'll make their run in probably the next quarter or if not there, then in that third. So yeah, just again, relieved, relieved. Um, guys playing well, lowering our eyes. There was a passage of play there which ended up uh, resulting in, I think it was just before the, the Murphy goal where we sort of had it off half back lowered our eyes, moved the ball around the ground, switched it, went inboard, went back to the boundary, back inboard, and it was it was a nice passage of play, and it was something we probably haven't seen in a while, to be honest. So, yeah, not getting too ahead of myself. It's obviously just one quarter, but, uh, you know, things are looking good. We've been in this exact position before. I think we kicked 32 or 34 points in the first quarter against the Swans. Um, obviously had a pretty decent uh, pretty decent outing, I think against the Tigers as well in one of the quarters. So yeah, it's one of four, got to continue on now, and I'm sure the message will be to that effect from Bolts um, in the break now, but yeah, good start. Okay, um, well that's a relief. It's good to see, uh, it's good to see a quarter like that, it's good to see a half like that. Uh, I don't think we've had two quarters in a row where we've played at that level this season. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just relieved. Be honest, I'm I'm relieved to see to see Harry playing well. Samo, <laughs> unbelievable numbers. Um, <coughs> but yeah, just the fight. Uh, the doggies had a few moments there where they were kind of coming, but I mean it's been a bit of a mixture of our setup, our pressure, and also they've been pretty pretty poor. They'd be pretty disappointed with their output today. 
Um, but yeah, nothing but nothing but smiles on this end here. Uh, I was a little bit flat early this morning, um, but yeah, very excited. I mean, yeah, we, we've had a great half. I don't want to, I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but it's very hard to keep a lid on it. I think, you know, when you've been starved for so long of, uh, of success and you see these little glimpses here, and this is a little bit more than a glimpse now, um, you know, it gets you going. Had Harry kicked that goal, uh, I don't know, I don't know what would have happened here. Um, there would have been scenes in this uh, in this building here, even though no one's here. Um, but yeah, got to keep on with it. Got to kick on with it. Uh, Samo's, you know, probably going to have a bit more attention in this second half, so that's going to be something interesting to have a look at. Um, but we really need to kick on. To be, to be quite honest, we probably should be up at least one or two more goals than what we are now. And you know, it would be it would be a disaster if we you know fell into a hole from here. So. Big second half coming up. Just want them to continue the way they have been. The composure's still been there. Um, we've still got areas of growth. I mean, Mitch McGovern hasn't really got anywhere near it. Ed kerno has been pretty quiet. And so, you know, we're gonna get a bit more output from there in the second half. And let's do this, go Blues. Okay, three quarter time. Um, up by by four goals. Um, the stage is set. We've, we've Worked our way through that quarter, uh, another you know solid quarter. Uh, the doggies had moments there where I thought they'd come back and uh, really put a dent into the lead. Uh, luckily, that that kick after the siren just then uh, by Hayden Crozier didn't quite make it. Um, oh, I don't know. I'm getting a little bit antsy. I'm getting a little bit nervous. Uh, the win means so much to the group. It means so much to the you know the process, the system, and everything. Um, and I, I'm pretty confident we're going to get the job done. But at the same time, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to look like an idiot. Uh, you got you want to wait for that final siren. So, uh, you know, we've had monumental games, and you know, we'll get to we'll get to the stats and we'll get to all of that afterwards. But uh, I just like the the way that we've cracked in all game. Um, there's been a bit of a, a bit of a maturity today uh, across the first three quarters, and I, I think could probably see the, the sting in, in the way that uh, some of the boys have gone about it. There's a real seriousness to the way that they're moving. Um, and, and then with purpose and intent, uh, you know, I don't want to individualize too many because there's been so many contributors, but Samo's been exceptional today. And it's, it's just, it's a relief to see. It's good to see, you know, we put a lot of work and a lot of time into these young kids and try and develop them. And to see them have these type of games and performances is uh, is really pleasing. So. One more quarter to go. Come on, boys. Let's do it. There it is. Um, how good is that? 101 to 57. Sam Walsh kicks a goal right on the siren to, to crack the ton. Um, I don't really know how to feel right now. This is just, uh, it's been so long. Uh, but a uh, very, very happy Carlton man. It's been a good week. Have a birthday the other night. Uh, last night as well, celebrated and it was a good way to, to celebrate coming into the 29th year of my life, 28 years old now, but um, yeah, so much, so much to talk about, uh, I could go on for ages, but yeah, initial reactions, great, just, you know, four quarter effort, they stuck with it, and uh, I mean, the reality is, you know, you, you, you watch them after the game, you hear Bob talking, and talks about how you know these these kids just sort of need to learn from their mistakes and whatnot and last week was a last week was a, a real gut-wrenching loss but in, in a sense you kind of need that they, these kids have to have those moments so they can live through them they can respond uh, and it's going to make us uh, a much better side in the long run and, and to be fair if we had one last week probably wouldn't have uh, it would have been a bit of a cover-up for the the way that we played, whereas today, I mean, we deserved every single bit of that today. Um, I'm just so proud. Honestly, I'm just so proud. Samo and Harry both had, you know, their real, real breakout games. And, you know, if you look at, it's a bit early to look at the votes and whatnot, but, uh, I mean, Cripps was great, don't get me wrong, but Samo and Harry will be right up there in the top two. So, yeah, um, I have to say, just stoked. Just stoked.